guys, it's Teresa, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about six new rules for traveling to Italy in 2021, 2022, and 2023. So if you have a trip scheduled to Italy, or if you are looking to travel to Italy in the upcoming years, then this video will be useful to you. If you are just landing on my channel for the first time, my name is Teresa, and I make videos about travel lifestyle and also home decor. So if you like this kind of content, I would really appreciate it if you would go down below and click the subscribe button. And also, if you enjoyed watching this video and it was helpful to you, please hit the like button because this lets the algorithm know to show more videos like this. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So new rule number one is you are going to be required to have what's called a green pass when you travel to Italy. So what is a green pass? So if you're coming from the US, that would be equivalent to your vaccination card. So a green pass shows that you have either been fully vaccinated or that you have recovered from COVID-19 in the past six months. So if you are coming from the United States and you show your vaccination card, that is the same as your green pass in Italy. Now, if you do not have a vaccination card, but you have recovered from COVID-19 in the past six months, make sure that you have proof to show that when you arrive at Rome Fumicino Airport, because they are going to require that you have proof of your recovery from COVID-19. And also, one of the other things uh, to note is that it is best to have a PCR test 24 hours before you are traveling to Italy because they're going to require it. Even though you are fully vaccinated or you have recovered from COVID-19, a PCR test is going to be required upon arrival in Italy. So it's going to cost you a lot less if you have that test taken before you travel outside of the US into Italy, or if you forget to do it, it can be costly because some of these tests from what I am hearing are costing people upon arrival somewhere around 300 euro. And you, if you have got two or more people in your party, that can get pretty expensive. So make sure that you schedule to have a PCR test prior to your travel to Italy. Tip number two, new rule number two for traveling to Italy. Now there are some sites in Italy that are free to see, like the Pantheon. So you can walk right into the Pantheon and just observe all of the glorious things there are to see, the architecture, the design, everything. This is a site that is completely free to see. However, under the new rules of Italy, you are going to still be required to wear a mask. Whether or not you have been fully vaccinated or that you have recovered from COVID-19, if you are stepping into any indoor site in Italy, you're going to be required to wear a mask. So make sure that you are walking around with your mask uh, handy because once you step inside a restaurant or a tourist site, a facility like the Pantheon, at the Vatican, any of these museums, you're going to be required to put on a mask before entering that establishment. New rule number three for traveling to Italy. Now this kind of goes back to the first rule. Even though you have been fully vaccinated or you have recovered from COVID-19 and you are traveling from the United States, you are going to need a certificate that shows that you have recovered from COVID within the past six months. Now it cannot be nine months or 10 months or even 11 months. Italy requires that you have recovered from COVID no more than six months prior to your travel to Italy. So make sure that you have that certification on hand. And also just a quick recommendation, you guys, take photographs on your phone of that certification 
or have some sort of electronic copy just in the event that it gets lost. So traveling to Italy can be quite expensive as you all know. So with the new rules of traveling to Italy, if you do not have the proper documentation to show your recovery from COVID-19 or even your full vaccination, you are not going to be allowed to enter into the country. And I would just hate to see that for anyone who has paid so much for the trip to travel to Italy. So make sure that you have that copy of your certification that you recovered from COVID-19, your vaccination card, or a digital copy of both. Now, new rule number four, and this one is related to when you are traveling back to the United States from Italy. Also, you are going to be required to have a negative PCR test when you are traveling back into the United States. So a couple of days before you are to fly or even maybe three or four days before you are required to fly back to the US, make sure that you get tested and that your test is negative before you try to fly back from Rome to the United States. So you're also required to have that test before getting back into the US. And these tests can be a little bit less expensive if you are not taking them at the airport. And I am not really sure where the actual sites are in Rome as of yet, but since my husband and I have a upcoming trip to Italy, I will be finding that information out so that we can make sure that we get our test prior to leaving Italy so that we can get back into the United States. Now tip number five, also in addition to taking a PCR test to get back into the United States, I believe that you are also required to take what's called an antigen test and that is about 25 US dollars along with the cost of you taking the PCR test. I believe the PCR test is around 75 euro, which equates to around 89 US dollars. So make sure that you budget for that uh, test as well, because not only are you going to have cost traveling into Italy, but you're going to have costs getting back into the United States. And so tip number six on my new rules for traveling to Italy is be sure that you have your medical insurance in advance of your travel and make sure that they cover COVID type of testing. Also, if you happen to come down with COVID, make sure that your insurance company will cover that. And sometimes the travel insurance, we always get travel insurance before we go to Italy, but you need to make sure that your medical is included in that. And also that there is not a clause in that coverage that says they will not cover you if you come down with COVID-19. So be sure to do the research on that before you travel from the US or any other country into Italy because in the event you need the medical care in Italy, you're going to have to have some type of medical insurance that will cover COVID-19. And you wanna make sure that this is the research that you do prior to traveling into Italy. So this wraps up my video for the new rules of traveling to Italy. And don't go yet, go ahead and watch my new video over here or over here. I would love it also if you guys would stick around by subscribing to my channel. My husband and I have an upcoming trip to Italy, which I will be vlogging and giving you guys some tips, some places to see, some things to do, and some food to eat while you are traveling into Italy. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.